Hello everyone and welcome to day 21 and 23 of Ethany's uh, Tarot Challenge. Um, I'm doing these two in one go because the answer to the last one is very, very simple. Um, all my decks are for personal use because I'm not currently reading for anyone else. I've done that once, uh, it hasn't happened since, um, so I haven't got any decks that I would like keep just for reading for other people. Um, but the first question is, um, do you use the little white book and guidebooks and what if your interpretation differs from um, what's written in those books? Um, I still very much can um, see myself as a newbie to tarot. Um, I've, I've got sort of like the majors <laughs> 90% I think and uh, 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 the minors I'm getting there um, but you know I'm, I'm still not 100% on uh, the meanings and whatnot um, I uh, I am starting to use my intuition a bit more sorry I'm having tea because my voice is still terrible um, it's chamomile with um, winter spices and honey it's really nice um yeah so i am starting to use my intuition a bit more um and and actually looking at the card and uh, recognizing like the different symbols that are on there and and going from there um but um what i still do in my journal is um for my especially for my daily draws i will get the book out first, write down the meaning in the book, uh, maybe go to um, other books uh, because I normally have one or two decks close to me anyway or I've got apps on my phone and then I will um, see what it says on those apps or on the other little white books, compare it and then sort of see where I go from there. Um, I especially like the, um, I, th I think I've said this before, the uh, Gypsy Palace Tarot. Um, I've got the app, not the physical deck. And um, it has uh, questions, uh, like journaling questions that you can have a look at. And um, that's been really, really helpful in trying to get, because um, sometimes when you just see the keywords, you can go like, oh, I can't imagine what that has to do with me today or with my current situation. Um, but then um, those journaling questions can really get you thinking about the card slightly differently or it, it gives you like, it, it's literally a prompt. It prompts you to, um, uh, yeah, to really think about what's going on in that card. Um, so that's how I use those. And uh, the, um, the bigger guidebooks, uh, like the proper book ones, um, I I do try and read them all the way through at least once um, because I'm just very, very, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> very, very interested in what the um, artist and the author have to say about um, their meanings for the cards and that what's behind, um, like, the artwork and, and, you know, what why it is the way it is. And... Um, yeah, it just gives you a little bit more to hold on to. Um, and because I'm still learning, I haven't really seen anything that I don't really agree with or that I feel differently about. Uh, sometimes you'll get that uh, certain decks say, like, one deck says one thing, another one says it slightly differently. And then I just go with uh, the deck that I'm working with at the moment uh, because that only seems fair. <laughs> um, but yeah uh, so that's how I use the uh, books I do want to get to the point where um, because <laughs> the um, little white book especially uh, because it's just so easy to grab um, it's still a bit of a um, like I hold on to it like it's a safety net kind of thing and um Hopefully, like this is my aim for this year, is to um, rely on my own 
intuition and my knowledge a little bit more. So um, I'm hoping that um, by doing this now, um, and maybe still for like the first six months of this year, um, my my uh, le- level of knowledge and my level of like um, trusting my intuition and and uh, myself really uh, in readings uh, will grow, and I will not have to rely on the little white book as much, uh, which I do do now. So um, yeah, I think that's it for today and tomorrow even though it's not today and not tomorrow, but it's already been for most people. Um, Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!